Okay, now we're going to do the demonstration on thermal expansion. In class, we learned that when a, an object uh, of a certain length is heated up, it expands in the amount delta L is alpha L initial delta T. So what this means is that if the object has a certain length to begin with, and uh, so this is L initial, okay, and we heated it uh, up by a certain temperature, the object will increase its length by a certain amount delta L. The longer it originally is, the more it will increase its length. Okay, so let's say you have two objects, one is uh, shorter by half as much. If I heat both of them the same amount, this will decrease its length, I mean this will increase its length by an amount half of that. And if I have another piece of metal that is twice as long as this, it will increase its length twice as long as that. Okay, So that's what this is saying. The, the, the change in length is proportional to the original length, change in temperature, delta T, and then alpha is what's known as the coefficient of linear expansion And the units of alpha are in units of, well, since this one and this one is meters, the alpha has to have units 1 over Celsius. 1 over Celsius in order to cancel with the change in temperature, which is at Celsius. So the alpha tells you the material, uh, how much uh, it tends to expand. The more it tends to expand, the bigger the alpha. Okay. Metals usually have a large alpha because metals expand a lot and uh, when it cools, it contracts a lot. So I'm going to show you a demonstration here that we do. This is actually an experiment that we do in the physics class. You can see uh, we have an aluminum tube here and uh, the tube is connected to a source of water. The water is right now in, in the process of heating up. When it starts boiling, the steam is going to rise. I'm going to connect this, and the steam is going to come. The steam is going to go through the tube. And over here, I've connected the tube. I have it placed on top of a pointer here. And when the tube is increasing in length, this direction, this one is going to uh, turn uh, counterclockwise this way. So when the tube increases this way, since it's sitting here, this one rotates like this a certain amount of degrees. Okay? So if I wanted to, I could calculate an approximate value. Of, I mean, if I wanted to do it exact, I would do exact measurements. Or if I want to just do a rough measurement, I can tell you uh, what the approximate uh, um, linear expansion of the metal is. One of the other key things to this demonstration to this lab is that you need a groove here. You see there, if you zoom in on it, the tube has to have a groove and the groove has to sit on the knife edge support because when this expands, I do not want the tube expanding in both directions or sliding. So the groove makes certain that you have a reference frame. So you're gonna measure the length from that reference frame. So now I'm, I'm, let me put this back at the edge here, 180, okay? So I'm gonna put this here. Once I put it on top, I should not touch anything. Now I'm gonna let, let it uh, heat up, wait a little bit. Okay, now we've let it heat up quite a bit and it's not gonna heat up any more than that because we know that steam the hottest temperature, the highest that it goes up to is 100, and then it starts boil, water starts boiling. So we know that the temperature of steam is about 100 Celsius, and we can see here that it rotated 10, about um, 10, this is 160, about 15 degrees, let's say. About 15 degrees. So how are we going to calculate the expansion coefficient from that? So I'm going to do a 
very rough calculation. What I'm going to do is measure I'm going to measure the length between my groove and where the tube is sitting on top of the pointer. I'll measure that length right here. You can see here uh, 10, roughly about, this is uh, 85, 85. So the original length here is 85 centimeters, which is 0.85 meters, okay? Then I'm gonna measure, then I'm gonna measure the, the thickness of the, pointer that it was sitting on with the vernier and it's about 0 0.24 uh, 0.24 centimeters 2.4 so I'm using the vernier caliper 2.4 centimeters so about uh, that's the here's the tube it's sitting on a pointer like this and the diameter of this is equal to 0.24 centimeters. Okay? Now how do I, from that, what can I get? Okay, so since this one is connected to these wings and it turns, here's what I'm gonna argue. The distance that this thing turns through, let's say the, let's say this thing is touching here, if this thing increases by a certain length, delta L, it's going to equal to the distance that uh, the pin turns from here to here, this, uh, the distance along the arc length. So the distance along the arc length is R times the angle, as expressed in radians. So if I want to express that in degrees, I do 180 degrees is pi radians, or I could uh, now I could express this in terms of the diameter of the pin, and I could say the radius is the diameter over two. Okay, so here's the argument I'm going to make: the arc length around uh, along which the pin turned is equal to the change in length the increase of length that the rod experienced. Okay, so let me calculate that. Spaces, right? So point zero, 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 three, one, four meters. What was my change in temperature? Well, my final temperature is approximately the temperature of steam, which is 100. And let's say the original temperature was around room temperature, uh, which is, let's say, around 20. Okay, so it's 100 minus room temperature. So my change in temperature was about 80. So let's calculate the approximate value of the linear expansion of alumina. So it's going to be... Um, 0.000314 is equal to alpha times 0.85 times 80. So this way you can see how this method is used very effectively. Four point six times ten to the minus six. The actual value is uh, pretty way up. I believe it's about twenty something. Ten times ten to the minus six. The order of the power the, the of the ten is correct, but this value we are kind of off. But you can see here the method that would be employed. If I were to do this very a lot more exactly, I would make sure everything is correct. All the distances. I would measure the radius again. Perhaps when I was heating it, I touched something, so I prevented it from uh, turning as much as it should, and I would go over the details of that with a lot more precision. But you can see the method that would be used here. I could do any kind of metal that I want, and I could calculate its uh, linear expansion coefficient. Thank you.